Hey guys, it's Whitney, your family practice PA, and uh, I'm so glad you're joining on this video. If you've been following the channel, I'm so sorry for the length of time between videos. Um, I do live in Central Florida, and it really started when Hurricane Ian hit. I had some damage to my house and then um, had some health issues with my parents and different things, but I am back. So excited to be back. Can't wait to talk more about different health topics um, that come up during my practice or based off the comments, just doing, you know, following through those, seeing what kind of information you guys want. So be sure to always leave it in the comments. I'm checking those. I promise I'm going to be more back involved now um, and just can't wait to be back interacting with you guys and so excited to get this video out and I will be back being more consistent every single week from here on out now that life's a little bit calmer. But thank you guys for understanding and without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today's video is one that I am excited about, especially for a lot of my subscribers. I know we're really interested in the Manjaro Ozempic, which is semi-glutide, and really wanted to break down the two comparing each other. Now I know I've done that in previous videos, but now, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but we are on a almost crisis mode, complete national back order of Ozempic, which is semi-glutide. Um, so yeah, I've talked a lot about it. You can see it in previous videos, but I have a majority of my patients, especially my type two diabetics, my pre-diabetics on Ozempic, we're switching over to Manjaro because that is a newer medication for weight loss and type two diabetes treatment. But this week, it is just crazy. We, in Central Florida, so I work in the Orlando area, we have no Ozempic. We cannot find it almost in any dosage right now. And we don't know how long that back order is going to last. And so that is very scary for my patients, especially ones that have been seeing great results. I know a lot of you guys have too. And so we are, and I, my practice has no samples. There is no samples to really give. Now, that can be different apart across different parts of the United States, but I do think it's gonna be hitting. But in Central Florida, we are in almost crisis mode. So I really wanted for my Ozempic um, patients or you know people that I subscribe and wanna do that, I kinda of wanna break down the two medicines because I can name at least five or six patients that just on the last three days of practice, I have switched from Ozempic to Manjaro. So they were having incredible results on Ozempic. I had an, a lady, this was one of the most incredible stories, come in, she's 58 years old. She came to me on May 28th of this year, 2022, and her LDL, which is her bad cholesterol, was 181. Her um, A1C was 10.1 and was significantly overweight. And she came and saw me on October 15th and her A1C went from 10.1 to 5.9. She lost 26 pounds and she had lowered her LDL from 181 to 109. So it's just incredible. This medicine used with lifestyle modifications and some other medications and different things like for her cholesterol, but a lot of it was on her. And so really want to compare these things of Ozempic because I am, I still love this medicine. The one really good thing about Ozempic too is I feel like since Manjaro has come out, this is not based by any facts. This is just what I'm seeing in practice. I'm getting more of my pre-diabetics and different ones. The insurance are covering me. So I'm, I'm um, sending those prescriptions in and getting coverage of it. So talk to your provider. Um, I know a lot of us love Manjaro. I love Manjaro. It is going to be a superior medicine when we talk about weight loss and A1C. I'm going to show you the, the studies for that as we go further into it. But really just wanted to touch base in case any of you guys are going through the Ozempic shortage. Don't be afraid to talk to your doctor about Manjaro. Now, I know a lot of you guys and there are coupons on Manjaro's website, all of that for my non-type 2 diabetics that are getting it for the weight loss. Now, Ozempic is approved for weight loss. The semiglutide under Wagovia has FDA approval. Manjaro at this time is only FDA approved for type 2 diabetics. Now, we have off-label uses that we have showed, but just so you know, on a, this platform, especially as a medical professional, I do have to emphasize it's only FDA approved for type 2 diabetics. That doesn't mean I don't have patients on off-label use. 
and there's other ways for weight loss. There's a lot of providers out there that are using it. So anyways, let's get into it just so we can break it down. Wanted to give this direct comparison. So we are looking at it. You can find this on the Manjaro website. It was an, it is an approved um, marketing by FDA. It is, they did a direct head to head study with all different dosages of Manjaro versus the one milligram dosage of Ozempic. At that time, that was the top dosage of Ozempic. Ozempic does now have a two milligram dose. It is brand new. It came out in May of this year, 2022. So we don't have the studies based on that. Most of my patients don't tolerate the two milligram dose of Ozempic. I'm just putting that out there from my personal practice. Um, it doesn't mean I don't have two milligram dose patients and they're doing great and it can jumpstart it. I also don't have that in stock anywhere in my area. So I want to give you a good option. I've talked to my Manjaro reps and we actually had a lunch just yesterday, which would have been exactly November 3rd, 2022. There are no shortages of Manjaro. They are fully ready because they are only FDA approved for type 2 diabetes. They don't see them ever running out. What happened with Ozempic is we were having the weight loss patients and the type 2 diabetics and the two milligram dose. And also we have a pandemic with supply chain issues. So I think it would just hit ahead. But um, like I said, Manjaro, that 75 to 90% of patients reached an A1C goal of under 7%. And that is what we consider a controlled type 2 diabetic is an A1C under 7. And so with that, that is an incredible result because a lot of these people see these medicines as just a weight loss medication, which it does a great job for. And you can see my Manjaro, I go fully in detail about what you can expect, how to get the best weight loss results, all of that. You can see that on my channel. But it also helps your type 2 diabetes too. So it's just, and I go into that as well. But just a direct comparison. So the loading dose of Manjaro is 2.5 milligrams. That is just to get your body used to it. Where we actually see the therapeutic range start is the five milligram dose. So from this looked at 40 weeks. Now this is on average, guys. So I need y'all to remember that, that you're gonna have patients that are not completely out of control, but you're gonna see some even better results than this. But on average, 40 weeks, which is good because that's a long length of time. It doesn't mean they just spike down and then come back up. This is on average, we are getting five milligram dose they decrease their A1C by 2%. So that's saying if it was eight, it was going down to six, or if it was at nine, it's going down to seven. At the 10 milligram dose, these three are Manjaro, 10 milligram dose, it's going down 2.2%. And for A1C, this three month diabetes average of those sugars, that's an incredible result. So at 10 milligrams, we're getting 2.2%. So we're going from 9.2 to seven, or 9.4 to 7.2. 15 milligrams we're seeing even more with the 2.3%. So this is what's interesting is at technically a, the lowest therapeutic range of Manjaro, we're getting 2%. Ozempic's one milligram is only getting 1.9%. So it's almost equal. And you might want to say, oh, it's not that big of a difference. There, 0.4% is a big difference when we're talking about A1C. You've got to think, 6.1 is a pre-diabetic range. 6.5, that 0.4 is a type 2 diabetic. So each 0.1 makes a big difference when we're talking about an A1C result. So 1.9 to 2.3 is a big difference. Now this seems, this is just the A1C. Where we really see the superiority is when we start talking about the weight loss. So let's get over to that and break that down. So again, these three are the Manjaro ones, and this is our one milligram of Ozempic. And so you can see at five milligrams of Manjaro over the 40 weeks, and you've got to think, a lot of us can yo-yo, we get really pumped up at the beginning and we lose 10 pounds, but then we might grain three of those back or different things. So I like the 40 week mark. I will tell you, I'm seeing even more of the, more than these numbers because some of these patients are just, you know, their BMI might only be 28, which is still overweight, but it's not morbidly obese. So with my obese patients, I do see a lot more significant. But in this study, it's a whole mixture of different weights. So you're seeing at 40 weeks, which means we are having sustained weight loss, 
we are seeing at five milligrams a 17 pound weight loss on average. 10 milligrams, a 21 pound weight loss on average. 15 milligrams, a 25 pound weight loss on average. And the one milligram of Ozempic is getting a 13 pound weight loss on average. So even the lowest therapeutic dose of Manjaro is getting four more pounds than the one milligram of Ozempic. So you can see over time, we're gonna see even more. And like I said, these are on averages. I'm actually seeing pretty much, very much more significant weight loss than this with Manjaro. We've only had it out for uh, on the market since June, July ish of 2022. So we're in November. I'm seeing really starting to see my three month follow ups of my Manjaro now. So I am just now going to be seeing my influx of patients. How I do it is I start them on their loading dose. They just call me when they're ready for their next dosage of pens but then I check an A1C three months later. So I'm seeing the A1C and then I'm seeing them come in with those weight loss and it is just super exciting. It's exciting to see the joy on their faces and the sense of accomplishment because a lot of these patients, and I know a lot of you guys watching, just kind of have this sense of fail. I failed this diet, I failed this diet, or I'm not getting my blood sugars under control, my A1C. And it's really cool just to see them kind of jumpstart and where they've been plateaued see those huge improvements. So I hope this video really kind of helped break it down. I don't want to use this video to throw shade at Ozempic. I think Ozempic is still an amazing medicine. It's one of my favorite medications. I just do think we're seeing a trend for, towards Manjaro. And unfortunately for the semi-glutide, the Ozempic and Wagovi patients, we just don't know when this back order, this shortage is going to end. It could be it could be not very long, but we I have not gotten any information in my personal practice. And I'm having patients out of these meds and I can't have them out for multiple weeks, especially when I don't have samples. So I have been switching them to Manjaro. Um, so definitely know that's as an option, but also just wanted to see, let y'all see some comparisons of the direct meds. If you have any questions, please leave it, leave it in the comments. I promise I'm gonna be back, guys. Can't wait to be interacting more with y'all and I'll have another video coming out really soon.